Hello, I'm just making this short video for um, those of us who have Mobula 7.1s drones uh, and you're experiencing a problem where you've tried to flash BlueJay and it doesn't work and motors aren't spinning and then you flash back to uh, BL Hell yes, and the motors still aren't spinning or some of them spin and some of them don't. Um, yeah, so let's jump right into it. Um, so I'm going to go to ESC configurator. Uh, you'll also want to do this. I want to preface this right now. I'm cutting in whenever in editing or, w but make sure you have just ESC configurator open or beta flight configurator open. If you have both of them open at the same time, you're not going to be able to connect to, um, you're not gonna be able to connect to the, the ESC configurator or vice versa. And then also, um, if you have your controller connected, you won't be able to connect. Like if your your actual remote is on for some for whatever reason, you're not gonna be able to connect to ESC configurator. Um, yeah. So plug in your drone, and we're gonna connect. Read settings. And this is probably what it will look like if you flashed back to um, BLHLES after f figuring out that that's probably the solution. Well, Happy Model has decided that they're going to have custom ESC firmware. And, okay, this makes sense, but you can't download it anywhere. So people are stuck not knowing what the right configuration is. Well, I did a little bit of messing around and figured it out. Basically... The main reason your motors aren't spinning is because Happy Model, in their infinite wisdom, has decided that your motors should be reversed. So you'll want to do that. <laughs> That's the main thing. Um, so right settings, and then after that, the startup power is the only thing you need to change. So if you're, if you came here to get your quad back running, this should do it for you. Just change flashback to BL Hell yes. Change your motors to reversed change the startup power to 1.25 and you should be golden. Um, if you came here to get uh, RPM filtering working at 96 kilohertz, you can follow along for the rest of the video. So let's flash Blue J again. Um, and you'll want to migrate settings so that reversed will come over. So that'll be nice. Blue J, just go with the version it says or it picks automatically, do 48 or 96. I found that 96 gave me an extra 10 to 20 seconds. 48 bumped it up from four minutes to five minutes of flight time. So yeah, 96 kilohertz I'll go with. Uh, so now flash, we'll just wait for them to flash. And yeah, while we're waiting, um, don't know what channel I'm gonna post this on. Um, but feel free to subscribe if you're interested. Um, I might do um, just like FPV live streams. And I have to get a, an adapter for my Fat Shark goggles. That's like the, I have the Fat Shark Dominator V3s and the it's all, all analog. <laughs> so it's interesting. Um, yeah. So one thing I want to make sure that you're not doing is see that you don't have... Um, if you got to this point in the video and you're like, I can't connect to ESC configurator, uh, probably means you have beta flight configurator open. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. From now, so now if you're on 96 kilohertz, you're going to bump up minimum and max start power to maximum. And if you're at 48 kilohertz, you can look at the specific settings. I'll probably put it in the description, but, um, happy model has specific settings for the startup power. Basically it's like, I don't know, like 1125 and like 1200 or something. I forget it. Don't quote me on that. Cause that might not be right. Um, so after that, write all settings and then you should be good. So now we're going to disconnect this and we're going to open up, uh, beta flight. Yeah. So you know, you connect to your drone and uh, friendo. Sometimes it be, is difficult for me. Uh, so first thing you want to do is go to configuration and you're going to bump up your PID loop frequency to 3.2 kilo, kilohertz. Nothing else has to be changed in here. So save and reboot. 
Next, we're gonna go to PID tuning. Uh, you're gonna go to filter settings. You're gonna do this. And you're gonna change the values to uh, this. So three, 390, 350. So this will be three. Uh, drones on my keyboard, cool. Uh, three, 300, Q factor, um, 90, min frequency, and 350. Okay, it looks like that. That's already 350 for some reason. Did I change that? Huh, it should, it'll, for default settings on your mob seven should be, um, this would be 600, but Maybe I forgot to switch it back. Uh, so next we want to go to motors and you're going to enable bi-directional D shot. Agree, save and reboot. Um, if you're following along with this and you have a different quad, um, probably not a good idea, but if you are pay attention to this motor pulls, basically the amount of magnets that are in your brushless DC motors. Um, and then motor idle is important. You're gonna to wanna to set that to 24. And so I should have just waited and done that all at once. Um, let's see, if you're running into CP load being too high, you should definitely drop PID loop frequency back down to 1.6 kilohertz. Um, but like if you're not getting any, if you're, if you're not um, fail safing, then don't worry about it. Um, but to be safe, you might wanna do that. Um, I think that's it. Um, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, you might want to take it easy on your first test flight. Um, just to be safe, make sure everything's working. Um, obviously like these settings work for me. They might not work for you. You might have a different, like a different version of the mob seven one S. Like something might be c different because of um, because of manufacturing or whatever, um, but yeah, that's that's that. Uh, I'm gonna record. Well, first of all, thanks for watching, and see you later.